Hey guys, me again. Uh, going a different direction this week, uh, well, this video. Uh, and I'm going to react to something that Bill Maher said on his show on some network in, T in America. Excuse me. Um, and then fat shaming needs to make a resurgence. Uh, it's alright for someone old and skinny such as himself, but uh, fat shaming never went away at any point in history or time. I know in the past 42 years of my life, or at least my school going life, which would have started properly, uh, let me see, when I was in first class, second class even, I was a big kid back then. Uh, let's just say, um, yeah, it's been around since then. It's never gone away. Um, I'll just I'll get into it anyway. I've, I've taken a few notes from a few places, from a few bits anyway. And it's, um, skinny does not mean you are healthy. And that is true. That the BMI, the body mass index, is not perfectly correlated um, with body fat percentage. In a way that it can tell you how fat someone is, but it can't tell you how healthy someone is on the inside. Now, uh I would regard myself as healthy. Um, some people think that because they're skinny, it doesn't matter what they eat, they can eat, you know, burgers, chips, they can smoke, they can drink, don't bother doing exercise, and then that's okay because they tend to portray skinniness. But that's not, I mean, you're just going to portray the same issues that someone will have, whether they're overweight, obese, or whatever. You're going to have the exact same issues as them. And then you have the disease risk factors, which are it doesn't matter because skinny people will just be as susceptible as fat people to hereditary diseases or inherited diseases such as uh, heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, low blood pressure. It goes without saying that, you know, even certain mental illnesses um, that can add to it. I mean, if you have to take medication at any point, it, that tends to retain more. So you tend to... Uh, your 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 body weight tends to to move to you know you tend to get bigger so that that goes without saying um so you're just as susceptible there so but then again people will look back over their family history and the minute they see any sort of a disease we're at and then they stop and it's like not the one to go there um there's little or no research being done uh to compare the risk uh for diet and exercise as to how it contributes to the development of heart disease in overweight versus skinny but unhealthy people so it doesn't matter if you're overweight or skinny but you have to be you know you have to be unhealthy and see as to how that would um uh contribute to uh, heart disease and then you have doctors doctors believe that if you're fat you are unhealthy now i myself have 100% perfect blood pressure, like normal blood pressure for someone my age and let's say half my weight. I don't know, maybe. my I don't know as regards the weight, but um, every time I'm there, he uses two pumps because he always believes the first one is broke. They both end up with the same reading. He will use an electric one, he will use a hand pump, he will use, and he can get his hands on to prove to himself that my blood pressure is 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 wrong is, is, that it's it's whatever it can't be normal because i'm fat the thing is it is because even though i'm big i've always maintained a lifestyle that was somewhat healthy or healthy i was all like i was a submission and freestyle wrestler um and i practiced judo uh kickboxing uh taekwondo I always had an interest in it. I was, I have, uh, as regards freestyle wrestling and submission wrestling, I have an adequate level. That is actually, uh, you know, they don't grade in wrestling, but you have novice, adequate, professional, all that sort of stuff. Um, that's how they grade it. Just it's it's word of mouth really, and, you know, I took part in competitions, uh, even. As I have, even like up to a couple of years back, um, and I'm I'm not too bad. <laughs> well, I would like to think I'm not too bad. There are better people out there than me, but at the same time, 
I need a numb nuts in my comment section if you ever want to hit the mats they'll see something different um, I also ran a gym for a while a one-to-one -one personal training um, I worked 12 hours a day in that gym with people and the reason I did work 12 hours a day is because I got results for people I knew what I was doing and it worked um, I could squat 375 pounds I tend to work with pounds rather than kg because it was handier um, and that's not even with the 25k bar so you'd be adding that to it as well and then you have the five pound lot weights on both ends so that's another 10 pounds so you were looking at over a 400 pound squat there and you know that wasn't even just one squat that was reps that that's you know and once the gym once my first child was born i gave up the gym because i wasn't willing to work 12 hours a day and miss raising my child so you know that that's the thing now as regards the fat shaming um that Bill Maher was talking about that's all well and good you can you can you can sit down there and you can tell someone what a fat bastard they are as in comment section down below in most of my videos um the troglodytes and fucking scum of the social network worlds tend to combine and just uh say what they want um but the thing is the where it bounces off me literally because i'm a fat bastard um not so much someone else that you could drive them to depression what's the one thing to do when they get depressed they eat i eat i don't get depressed but i eat and these people they don't get any smaller but you know when, when we're not meeting the norms of uh society by not being able to shop in certain shops and not looking like most of the commenters down below uh you know what can you do what can you do you know if i was to call out some of the commenters they'd only love it because uh, you know that that's how they roll you know but that brings me on to the, the bullying aspect um of social media and you know online comments and videos like there's plenty of uh bigger people that have that have ended up hanging from a rope or ended up with a, a load of pills around them dead just because of comments that were made on social media uh i came from a time where I was bullied in school, but at the end of the day, you went home from school, that was it, and you just had to put up with it for another school day. I sorted all that shit out when I learned how to fight. Uh, but the thing is, other people, other fat people mightn't be as um, inclined to use violence, and they just mightn't be that way and that's that's great that's but you see the thing is it's the anonymity of scumbags such as yourselves out there in the comment section that talk like you're qualified psychologists you're qualified psychiatrists you're qualified social workers you're qualified dietitians personal trainers nutritionists when in actual fact your parents probably told you your your boundaries were limitless as children but it was basically just to blag you off because you had nothing up here they knew it but they didn't want to tell you that because you're their special little child you know and then all you do is you end up in a comment section down below here uh deflecting all your mammy and daddy issues onto someone like me just because I'm fat and you hide behind your little um, funny little names and your uh, accounts with nothing on them, with no profile pictures, nothing like that. But just because you take a look at someone like myself, you tend to uh, think you're God's gift. You are, I suppose, in a way, God's gift. If you know you just 
left school in junior start or just you know uh as long as you're a, you know you're happy in your own little world deflecting all your misery onto someone else and getting off on trying to make other people miserable doesn't happen here but go look for someone else who might be unlucky enough um to have a mind not as solid as my own to be able to deflect all this stuff um i do get back to some of the comments down there because to be honest you got to lower your iq to their level to actually see you know can you actually get an insight as to how they think but you just you come back from it feeling mentally drained and you wonder like how how do they actually breathe in and out at that level of stupidity but there you go but what i would say is james corden finished and i'm not a big james corden fan but he um he finished uh he called out bill maher by saying and the likes the other likes of fat shamers that maybe you should watch what's coming out of your own mouth before you watch what's going into mine uh now most of you <laughs> all of you you know you don't know what i eat you don't know what i'm like uh but you're willing to just spew your virile shit all over my comment section uh but you know there you go uh but i really you know what i would say to most people getting bullied online if they are making videos and stuff is just um turn off the comment section uh it's as easy as that i just leave mine on because i i like to see you know the level of people's intelligence the the comment on the videos and believe me uh 95 percent of what's commented on in my comment sections of videos uh barely you i'm look, i don't know how they pass the birth cert let alone any state exams such as the junior cert and stuff because um literally all i i would do um to prove a lot of these people have actually been born is buy a dog license for them because you know that that's about the end of it and they're not worth a birth cert they're worth a dog license but they're not worth a birth cert um certainly not worth any single digits of iq that they've been given but uh you know that's the way it is but i would say to anyone out there is just don't let them get you you know just there's there's plenty of groups out there that can help you there's um new laws coming through on internet bullying and all that and if you feel you are being bullied just step away just don't give them the satisfaction to get into you you know i mean if you want to look like i said if you want to look at stuff you think you're getting just look down there and uh on any of my videos I see what's coming at me and it bounces off me you just you got you know it's life you got to live with it some people would rather you didn't live yours so you know they they can live theirs but that's it anyway drop those comments insults or you know debates and i'll get back to whatever i see fit uh it's me over and out guys till next time